Hey guys, so today what I've got here is a uh, really cheap alarm padlock. So as you can tell, this is the keyway and um, the key for the lock. And uh, I'll show you background that's the bidding. There are only four pins with this lock, so I'll show you this the key. And it does indeed operate. So I will pick this lock, but not with the alarm on. But just before that, I am going to demonstrate how the alarm works. So what you do is, you unlock the lock, you turn the shackle over. And what you'll notice is that on the shackle, there's one side with a groove, and one side with an, uh, without a groove. Now the groove is, um, if I can get some light in there, uh, as you can tell, the groove inside is designed to actually miss that little detent. So this way you can use it as a lock that doesn't have an alarm, or you can use it with the alarm. And what happens is that the side with the groove actually right there, it lets you use the lock without the alarm, and the side without the groove actually pushes the detent in and activates the alarm. So I'm just going to demonstrate that right now. And so it says 110 decibels, so I'm not going to be the dumb person and let it on without a precaution so I'm going to put a sock over it again this kind of defeats the security of the lock but what you do is you put a sock over the lock push this hard and you hear that it clicks and so what happens is that you lock the lock you tap it a little bit and it gives you a warning and now it's tapped again and it turns on the alarm so again turn that off now I'm going to pick this lock but not with the alarm on because um, well it is time for other people to sleep so I don't want to wake anyone else up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper clip I'm going to use it as a tension wrench so I'll put it into the left side of the keyway push up then I'm going to use a half diamond I'm going to break it you see it popped the lock is open so uh, anyhow this lock um, it's a good toy, it's got a nice alarm, but honestly, in the real world, this is not a good lock because this is a cheap pot aluminum housing. Uh, you saw it was really easy to pick this lock. The shackle's probably okay, but it's no use because you can just take a hammer and just, sh uh, just you know, break it off. Another thing is that um, the, mo the weakest part isn't really the pot aluminum housing, but rather if I stick the key in, I'll show you inside what the locking pole looks like you take a look inside the locking pole is just only this tiny tiny little sheet of metal and this one even if it's made of steel it's really soft steel I don't think it's very hard and so if I were to take this shackle on this shackle probably is hard and steel it feels like it um, if I were to go ahead and try to hit hard onto it with a hammer I would probably shear that little locking pole off and it would open and uh, the reason why that's a vulnerability is because, again, it's a really thin sheet of metal, and there's only one locking pole, so you can just shatter that thing, you know, just break that little locking pole off and the lock will open. So anyhow, uh, fun little toy, but uh, don't recommend it for security. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and please keep your picking legal, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, that's it. Thanks.